time for the Longines Chronoscope, a television journal of the important issues of the hour, brought to you every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. A presentation of the Longines Whitnor Watch Company, maker of Longines, the world's most honored watch, and Whitnor, distinguished companion to the world honored Longines. Good evening. This is David Ross. May I introduce our co-editors for this edition of the Longine Chronoscope. Mr. William Bradford Huey, editor of the American Mercury, and Mr. Ogden Reed, Jr. of the New York Herald Tribune. Our distinguished guest for this evening is the Honorable Henry Cabot Lodge, Jr., United States Senator from Massachusetts. The opinions expressed are necessarily those of the speakers. Uh, Mr. Lodge, it's a great pleasure for us to have you tonight on the Longine Chronoscope, sir. Our audience knows you, of course, as the distinguished senator from Massachusetts. And tonight, we'd like to ask you something about uh, General Eisenhower's tactics when he returns here. Now, sir, can you tell us first, can you tell our audience uh, what some of General Eisenhower's plans are when he arrives in the United States? <clears throat> Well, he plans to uh, <coughs> arrive in Washington and then go to Abilene, Kansas, where he makes a speech on the on the 4th of June. On June the 4th, he speaks in Abilene. Mm -hmm. About how many speeches, Senator Lodge, do you think he should and will make? Well, you can't tell that this far ahead. What's it's, it's a great mistake to make your plans for the end of the campaign three months ahead.